Okay, friends, Mr. Ollie is going to tell us about where he gets his bees from and where we can find bees. So bees in the wild, they will actually form hives in hollow trees, in, uh, you know, old buildings, all sorts of places where they can, you know, have a enclosed area they can form honeycomb. And every spring, they will swarm, which means that half the bees will leave your queen and form a new place, find a new place to form a hive. Now, because I have a beekeeping business, a lot of times when people find a swarm of bees in their yard, they'll call me. So we can go over there with the bee box and some, you know, frames with a comb and honey, and we can actually get them to go into our box and we can take them back and form a new hive with them. And so we actually also have uh, swarm traps, which kind of do the same thing, where it's a bee box up in a tree, and we're trying to get the bees to come and live in our boxes instead of going and living in a hollow tree. So we do this every spring. So at this point, all the bees that I have, we have caught in the wild and then bred here. Cool, and so these bee boxes, those are those white things over there? Yep, and those bee boxes, have 10 of these frames in there. So you can fit a lot of bees into one of those boxes. All right, friends, so I'm going to pick you up and I'm going to carry you to show you what these bee boxes look like. And I'm really afraid because there are lots of bees flying over there, but I'm going to be brave. Here we go. So here's one and you can see the bees are flying up underneath there. There's some more. Oh, there are lots of bees flying, friends. You know I must love you to take you on this field trip. There are lots of bees. Oh, wow. This one has a lot of bees on the outside of it. I'm not going to get any closer than this, but I will put the computer really close. Okay, friends, I faced my fears today. I hope that you do something brave today, too.